What is going on everybody? My name is Ness and welcome to episode 10 of my road to Cristiano Ronaldo. It has nearly been a week uh, of, uh, of no uploads, but it was it is simply because of the fact I had exams this week. I was very busy with my university and I simply uh, chose to focus on my exams rather than uh, hollow focusing on my exams and hollow focusing on YouTube because that's not gonna work out because because first you're gonna have shitty um, results for your exams and you're gonna have shitty videos and that's not what I want so I just decided to focus on my exams get good grades and then go into YouTube again so that is exactly what I did and um, my exams are over now so I have a lot of uh, free time this weekend to make videos which is uh, which basically means I will be having daily videos out uh, during uh, during the whole week well still a couple of days left in this week but yeah daily videos incoming boys but uh, yeah I am back now we have episode 10 of my road to Ronaldo which means trading which means good trading which means pretty much a lot of swag but uh, before we get into the trading boys I first like to thank you for the support on episode 9 which was absolutely awesome and if you guys can go for another 500 mother freaking likes that will be absolutely insane all you gotta do is drop a like on the video and answer the following question in the comment section down below what is your favorite game besides FIFA my game it has to be Kingdom Hearts. It is a very old game. Some of you guys might know it. Some of you guys might not. It is a kind of mix between Final Fantasy and Disney. It's a kind of adventure game. You're a guy and you're walking with Goofy and Donald Duck and you're just fighting your way through the whole story. It is an absolutely fun. Well, it was an absolutely fun game. And uh, yeah, that is uh, absolutely my personal favorite game besides FIFA. Uh, but yeah, that's not what you came for, boys. You guys came for the trading, obviously. So uh, let's get right into it. So, we are not gonna be having any Silver Hazard, Silver Di Maria, Silver Ronaldo, Silver Messi's or anything of that. We are just gonna have some proper, proper, proper trading in this uh, in this episode. So, uh, as you can see on the screen, boys, we picked up four informs, two, two Joshua Kings, one uh, inform Ronnie, and one inform Obita. We picked up our first uh, inform King for 51,000 coins, which is an absolutely awesome deal because we can sell him on for around 70,000 coins and we, we will be making around the 20k profit, which is very, very, very good. And we picked up the second one for 60,500 ultimate team coins, which is not bad either because, as I just said, we can sell him on for around 70k and it is also a decent profit. Then we picked up uh, our inform Ronnie for 45,000 coins and uh, this guy goes for around 55 to 60,000 coins it, it really depends on what time you sell him and um, if people are actually are willing to buy uh, Inform Ronnie and then last but not least boys we picked up our Inform Obita for 35,000 coins which is not bad which is well which is not a bad deal either because we can sell this guy on for just over 40k so we make a decent profit but it's not the best profit but yeah profit is profit and who doesn't want to have profit because if you have profit you have swag you have coins and you are basically a baller but uh yeah boys as you can see on the screen we did sell all of our players and we ended up with 781,000 coins we sold our inform king for 69,000 coins the second one went for 72,000 coins our inform arani did sell for 55,000 coins and our inform obita went for 43,000 coins Overall, we made a pretty, pretty, pretty decent profit uh, in this batch of trading, but as always, we do have a second batch of trading, and that is exactly what we will be having in this episode as well, because we picked up 8 Marko Feniovic, I think that's how you pronounce it, the guy from Vitesse, uh, all for 15,750 coins. Basically, I got outbid on every single trade I tried to do. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do NAS bidding or mass bidding. However you wanna call it, it is a technique I've used in my previous trading series. And it is a very effective technique. So I did it on, on this guy and I picked all of them up for 15,750 coins. It goes for around 25k. You might be wondering, why is he so expensive? Well, I started thinking as well myself and then I realized it's the moustache. I mean, look at the moustache, the moustache has loads of swag and uh, when you have this guy in your team, you have a swag team and if you have a swag team, you, you will be destroying your opponent by just having too much swag basically, but uh, as you can see on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, we did sell all of our 8 Marko Fejinovic's uh, between 21 and 19k, I thought he was going for 25k, but uh, I realized it was a bit of a price, so I just lowered the price of it. But we, uh, we made a decent profit uh, overall because we end up uh, with 809,000 ultimate team coins, which is absolutely awesome. So boys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like. Let's go for 500 likes again. And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you boys on next time. Peace out.